Lawmakers in Frankfurt hear how overdoses may be linked to social problems throughout the Commonwealth. And the nation's top diplomat addresses the UN Security Council in New York as the Israel-Hamas conflict continues. Plus, we are tracking a cold front to bring showers and chilly, chilly temperatures by this time next week. Those details coming up as Mountain News First at Four continues. Mountain News First at Four continues. Kentucky lawmakers heard more about the overdose problem in the state in a specially formed commission. Several groups told lawmakers that everything from poverty, lack of housing, and transportation are tied into the overdoses plaguing the state. WYMT's Phil Pendleton has more from the state capitol. A group of lawmakers heard from several people on issues that deal with race along with access to opportunities. First up was discussion of the opioid abatement funds. Now, of course, millions of dollars were coming to Kentucky. There's been a commission formed to decide how to best spend that money. They received an update from that and also from several groups who say simply overdoses are possibly the result of people who simply don't have access to everything that they need. Poverty has a lot to do with where we're at. You know, no one woke up when I was running a treatment program. No one woke up and said, you know, at 10, stood up in front of their teacher and said, I want to be dependent on heroin. I want to lose my kids. I want to lose my job. I want to lose my car, my family, and my house. The bottom line shared by several of these people today was that a lot of times drug overdoses happen because people aren't really wanting to do drugs or because they want to engage in a certain lifestyle. It's possibly because they simply don't have the access to everything that they need to be healthy in life. In Frankfurt, Phil Pendleton, now back to you. The commission will have another meeting in early November before the interim session ends. The General Assembly will start meeting on January 2nd. We are tracking some sunny and mild weather across the mountains for your Tuesday afternoon. Let's take a live look over at Buffalo Mountain this afternoon. You can see plenty of blue sky and sunshine. Also some warm weather that temperature up to 77 degrees and most of us right now in the middle to even upper 70s across the region. Check out Harlan up to 79, 74 in Pikeville, 75 in Clintwood and 77 over in Manchester. So we are well above average for this October afternoon and we are warmer today than we were on Monday about 5 to 10 degrees above average in some areas as we go into this evening. Up on the radar, we are dry all thanks to high pressure and that will continue to park itself over the mountains for the next few days. So that means more dry, also more warm weather on the way. But as we look further off into the forecast, we are watching out for an increase in those rain chances and a decrease in those temperatures as some chilly air is on the way. By this time next week, we could see some very cold temperatures by Halloween. All those details plus your full seven day forecast on the way in just a few minutes. Steve? Cameron, thank you. The health ministry in Gaza says hundreds of people were killed in the past day as a result of Israeli airstrikes. Israel has been striking Gaza since Hamas militants attacked southern Israeli towns on October 7th. The devastating Israel-Hamas war has trapped hundreds of people from foreign countries in the Gaza Strip. For more than a week, their governments have advised them to wait at Gaza's Rafah crossing in preparation for evacuation through Egypt. Each day that the crossing does not open, they say, is a day they could be killed by an airstrike. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken told the United Nations Security Council that the Biden administration does not seek a conflict with Iran amid fears the Israel-Hamas conflict could spread. Blinken delivered a forceful defense of Israel's military actions. He says all allied nations must recognize the right of Israel to defend themselves against terrorism. He says America will not allow attacks to go unanswered. We stand at a crossroads. Two paths lie before us. The difference between them could not be more stark. One is the path offered by Hamas. We know where it leads death, destruction, suffering, darkness. Secretary of State Blinken traveled to New York City to participate in the UN Security Council update on the situation in the Middle East. 
An election conspiracy theorist is trying to push a device on voters he believes can detect if a machine is connected to the Internet. The Kenton County clerk in northern Kentucky is warning the public to follow the laws or you may be prosecuted. WYMT's Kelsey Soto is talking with the Secretary of State ahead of Election Day about voting security exactly two weeks before voters head to the polls. It's an important yet thankless job. There's never been a harder time in American history to be an election official. That's true of my office. It's true of the county clerks. They do a great job. Unfortunately, we had a high level of attrition last year. This past year, the state lost 23 county clerks. 16 chose not to run again, and another nine simply walked off the job. Secretary of State Michael Adams says he wants people to feel comfortable with state elections and be a part of the process. That's why they welcome and encourage the public to come witness the testing of the voting machines ahead of the election. It's done in all 120 counties. We have an open and public event where we test them and make sure that they're counting the votes correctly. Uh, there's a false rumor out there that these uh, scanners change votes from one party to the other. That's just totally ridiculous. Adam says voter intimidation won't be tolerated and now violators will face the judicial system. He says trust at the ballot box is something his office strives for. I think Kentuckians are really happy that we've moved away from electronics based voting machines and now we've gone to paper ballots because not only do people trust a piece of paper and a pen, they know they can't be hacked, but also they know that we have the ability to do a check after the election. Adams tells me his office was sued roughly six times last year from candidates looking for a recount. Each time the hand count numbers matched the machine counted ballots. In Frankfurt, Kelsey Soto, WKYT. Now your final chance to request an absentee ballot is 11:59 tonight. You can do so at govote.ky.gov. Well, meanwhile, Governor Andy Bashir and Daniel Cameron are set to square off this evening for the last scheduled debate before the election. The Kentucky debate will take place at the WKYT studios in Lexington. You can watch it live right here on WIMT from 7 until 8, and we'll have some of the highlights at 11. Coming up next year on First at Four, students in one technology program in the Big Sandy work to build a tiny house. Plus, we are tracking some mainly dry weather this week, but rain chances are looming by early next week. Those details coming up after this break.